Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Gayatri Venkatramani. I'm from India, Vellur Institute of Technology. It's actually in Tamil Nadu. Well, I'm an energy researcher, energy and power sector, which actually plays a very vital role for the development of every country. So it's actually very hard and difficult to do research as a woman. So it is very difficult part to struggle because in India, we have to do work life balance a lot. You have to do your work and you have to carry your family both in equal hands and you should never give up in both the cases. You have to balance both the things and to be a very, very successful woman is really a challenging task. Okay, so what would you say is your journey as a young woman scientist? journey as a young woman scientist first of all it's either a man or a woman you should have the inherent passion inside you that you can you will in india we have swami vivekananda hope you know who is he he has rocked in chicago he said arise awake stop not till the goal is reached you want to put your goal you want to struggle then at last you will achieve you should believe that you can and you will and have you faced any challenges or are facing any challenges as a human scientist? Yeah, we do. We do face a lot of challenges. As I said before, the work-life balance is very much struggle. You have to care for the family. At the same time, you have to care for your profession. Not only the work-life balance, as a woman, wherever we go, we do face a lot of harassment. We do face a lot of violence against us. Everywhere it is happening. Not only as a scientist, in every profession, every woman, even right from the kid, everybody are facing it. But in the working profession, it is very, very difficult as a researcher to put your focus on a single nodal point to achieve the task what you want. So in that case, you have to keep your mind very free for which our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, he asked us to do yoga and meditation. And that's why we celebrate yoga as a great day to put more focus, to have more concentration and be very, very successful, passionate person where you are. And what message or messages would you convey to ensure the next generation of women in science? Next generation of women in science. That's what I said. Never ever give up in your life. You should have a goal. Suppose if you want to achieve something in health sector or in agriculture sector or like me in the energy sector. First of all, fix up your field where you want to achieve. And then try to read a lot. Read, 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 run, run, run. Only then you will understand what is the present technology, what we are and what we want to do. You have to compete. The world is so competitive. You have to compete. So for that, you should have the strong perseverance. As a young researcher, as a young woman, you have to struggle a lot in one particular field. You should enhance your knowledge. You should enhance your skill set. Not only your knowledge and skill set determines it, even your attitude decides it. So knowledge, skill set and attitude. I put in a reverse way a s k that is ask that is attitude skills and knowledge so if you build all the three then you are a successful woman in your own field keep rocking